Metoprolol, commonly sold under the brand name Lopressor, is a medication of the beta blocker class for which the suffix allol is a dead giveaway. Metoprolol is a selective beta-1 receptor blocker. Beta-1 receptors are cell receptors found primarily in cardiac tissue, which when stimulated increase the speed, strength, and conductivity of the heart. Metoprolol inhibits these effects. Indications Atrial fibrillation with rapid ventricular rate. Why? The problem with atrial fibrillation RVR is exactly that, the rapid ventricular rate. Metoprolol slows this rapid rate down, bringing associated symptoms under control and reducing the chance of mortality. Hypertension. Why? Your pump will be slowed down. Less pumping, less pressure. Angina. Why? Metoprolol blocks heart rate, heart velocity, and the extent of heart contractions caused by catecholamines. All of this reduces the amount of oxygen the heart requires. Less oxygen deficit, less pain. Post-myocardial infarction care. Why? Because a study revealed taking metoprolol after a myocardial infarction decreases your three-month mortality rate by a third. Migraine prophylaxis. Why? While the cause of migraines is still the subject of much debate, but one of the hypothesized causes of migraines is excessive catecholamine synthesis. By inhibiting catecholinergic influence, metoprolol can prevent a patient's migraine from even starting. Congested heart failure. Why? Because slowing your hurting heart down can give it more time to fill with blood, increasing the value of each contraction. The routes for metoprolol are both oral and IV. For adults in the pre-hospital environment, you'll see metoprolol being given 5 mg IV, Q5, titrating to effect, but more commonly you'll be interacting with this medication as a pre-existing prescription the patient has in oral form for 100 to 450 mg a day. For pediatrics, it's not something we have standing orders for in my area, but an intervention I found literature on at the physician level was pediatric hypertensive crisis being managed with an infusion of metoprolol around 1 to 5 mics per kilogram per minute. And I also found an article on metoprolol's potential use in pediatric heart failure being evaluated. No set dose has been firmly established there, though. Mechanism of Action Metoprolol is a selective beta-1 adrenergic receptor blocker meaning it competes with adrenergic neurotransmitters for binding at the beta-1 adrenergic receptors in the heart specifically. Although able to block beta-2 in large doses and even able to completely stabilize the membrane, which means to completely inhibit action potentials at mega-high doses, more on this if we ever cover beta-blocker overdoses, metoprolol slows the sinus rate and decreases AV nodal conduction. Some beta-blockers antagonize and agonize beta receptors. You'll see this referred to as either partial agonist activity or ISA, intrinsic sympathomimetic activity. And an example of a medication that does this is pindolol. But in metoprolol's case, every gram of that medication is going to tug the reins of the heart in an antagonistic way, which also means if you overdose on metoprolol, it will completely blockade beta receptor stimulation, whereas pindolol's partial agonist activity will partially compensate for your natural sympathomimetic drive taking a kick in the teeth. Onset and duration. IV, almost immediate, peaking in 20 minutes and lasting 5 to 8 hours. Regular PO onset within 1 hour, peaking in 1 to 2 hours and lasting 3 to 6. Contraindications. Known intolerance to metoprolol, such as allergies or other hypersensitivities that would cause greater harm than good. Bradycardia. Why? The heart's already slow. You want to make it slower? Hypotension. Why? Because a slower moving heart can make the blood pressure drop even further. Precautions. Metoprolol can mask tachycardia. When looking at a patient's vital signs, pay attention to their prescriptions and the effects they may have. A heart rate of 120 might only be 90 if that patient is on metoprolol and not tip you off to the patient's true situation. Bronchospastic COPD or reactive airway disease. Why? Because although it's a selective beta-1 receptor antagonist, metoprolol can block beta-2 receptors in large doses. Blocking beta-2 inhibits your body's ability to dilate the bronchioles, and if a bronchospasm kicks in, you've just burnt the beta-2 agonist treatment bridge caution should be taken in these situations. Cocaine toxicity. Why? Well, there's some controversy here, and very little in the way of readings, but the current theory is this. If you block your beta receptors, you end up with unopposed alpha-adrenergic stimulation, with no beta to balance things out. Instead of the heart rate going down along with the blood pressure, the situation may skyrocket. Well, that's the end of my rundown on metoprolol pharmacology, but I just wanted to take a moment to thank you. As of the making of this video, this channel has grown to just over 400 subscribers and 10,000 views. That's more than I ever thought would be interested in me blathering on about the topics you find on this channel. So thank you. Thank you for your interest, and thank you for your encouragement.